Hey guys, my name is uh, Krishna Chitta. Hi, I am Sri Lakshmi. Nice meeting you all. Yeah. Um, so we both are here today to talk about our experiences with RVR and JC College of Engineering. Uh, we did our bachelor's in mechanical engineering there, passed out in 2010. Um, it's a great college and we had a great journey together. Um, and uh, we are super excited to share this journey with you guys. Um, so let's start with you, Sri. What is uh, what is something that you like most about your with in your four years in RVR and JSC College of Engineering? For me personally, I would say everything that I did outside of the classroom was pretty uh, pretty interesting, and I had really fun uh, doing all the activities. Uh, uh, for example, attending techno fests and uh, being part uh, of uh, annual celebrations. Uh, freshers parties, farewell parties and I used to uh, be an anchor, uh, I used to participate in almost every competition during the annual uh, yeah. day celebrations, you know, right from singing, uh, yeah, doing the, doing those ramp walk sessions um, and also I, I think in my first year I even directed like a 10 minute uh, short uh, skit uh, and uh, I've written and it's uh, it, it's a really fun uh, skit um, and I even got an opportunity to uh, do a short film and uh, you know all of the, all of those work uh, and even our like f industrial trips so all of those were really encouraging for me because back then I was really shy kid and for me to explore this side of myself was pretty new um, and uh, I should say like even uh, all our lecturers were pretty uh, supportive back then so they were like uh, you know go for it go for it and yeah because uh, when when the first time as a 16 year old if you are uh, going on stage it's like really yeah. nervous yeah. Uh, back then now it's like everybody is very camera friendly yeah. and everything so yeah so for me that's that was the greatest uh, experience uh, yeah that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, directing and doing a, your own short film. Yeah. You yeah, know, this was, was in what? In 2006, right? Yeah. I mean, pre YouTube times. Huh? Yeah. I, I don't even know if we have a YouTube back then. But yeah. anyway, so, so yeah, I mean, I saw your journey too, right? Yeah. You know, how you used to be versus yeah. uh, how you were, you know, yeah. and how you're uh, leading the um, the job here and, mm -hmm. uh, and doing great in your career here too. So that's very impressive. For, for me, one of the things that I like most about in RVR is the freedom you get. Mm. You know, being there for four years, um, there are a lot of things you can do that can be memorable throughout your life. Um, so few, few, few things, right? I mean, uh, I, back then, you know, in Guntur, if, uh, if you want to put together some cool robotics project or something, mm -hmm. it was really hard. Yeah. Um, and we used to get encouragement from our professors, right? I mean, to do these type of projects. Yeah. Um, so we, I remember, you know, me and some of my friends, mm -hmm. you know, we all came together and worked on something called a six leg robot. Yeah. Um, for the final project work, For right? final yeah. project work and also some robotics festivals. Yeah. I think that's a new back then too. Um, so those are all, you know, ha happen because mm -hmm. of the freedom we got and the freedom we yeah, the professors gave to us right mm. um, that opened me a, a lot yeah, especially sure. when I think about my deep technical expertise in the mechanical engineering mm. or production engineering for say you know that is the foundation where I got right mm. um, and uh, definitely I mean I I, I should uh, you know thank all our faculty there yeah. and help yeah, for too. helping and supporting <laughs> yeah um, yeah so how, uh, how do you think uh, your experience in RBR, you know, helped in your career and to be a director at Petco here in the US. So how do you think it shaped you? Yeah, it shaped a lot, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm in leadership role now here in uh, US, um, leading a, a global supply chain of Petco mm. at a strategy level. Yeah. Um, I have a huge team, you know, huge budgets and all. Uh, so this was possible because of the foundation I got in, you know, doing some of the leadership activities in RVR. Uh, 
uh, what what activities did you do? Yeah, so so I got an opportunity to be a student body leader back then, um, and also organize a national level technical symposium. Mm. Rajmiya, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. It 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 taught me how to manage things at scale mm. and and. Uh, uh you know it's so people in management you know project management <laughs> and all all these cool things that we talk about now yeah uh obviously you know uh, uh, made some mistakes yeah. learned from them um and uh, those mistakes doing at early phases helped me not doing the same mistakes in my career yeah um yeah so, i believe like uh, getting sponsors and uh, yeah. getting those robo kits and everything yeah all yeah those. yeah that's a that's a kind of influencing mm. people right uh, so if you think about my career mm. you know i started as a process engineer uh, within 2 years i got promoted as a manager yeah. and then in a year and a half i got a got promoted as a senior manager and now i'm a director role right so i i think I I don't know how much my masters helped me on my leadership abilities but yeah. but a lot of things I did in bachelors and I was given those opportunities right mm-hmm. I mean it's not just doing but the opportunities are great thing and uh, and are we are giving me those opportunities yeah you know, the four year think. time that you get uh, in the bachelor's degree is like yeah. really uh, it's like a really rewarding <laughs> yeah Uh, after graduating you know the support we get to is pretty incredible you know any time we need a recommendation letter for you know additional programs in education like masters or something or professors are always supportive mm. um and uh, the alumni is strong yeah um i mean what lot of people who graduated from there during my time mm. and our time you know became scientists became our into a very well, well positioned in a lot of companies you know yeah. that helps uh, us to reach out to them for any uh, you know uh, recommendations or uh, questions to be answered and things like that so so i think well rounded wise you know are we are you know helped us a lot yeah whenever you are you know learning uh and whenever in this four year of journey and afterwards as well uh have passion uh towards your uh, subject and learn fundamental concepts and have a practical knowledge uh like we had back then so we used to have all the uh, practical knowledge in robotics and uh it all those things helped us in uh, communicating very well in our interviews and uh, don't uh, uh, don't be shy and uh, lean in uh, in the debates and uh, uh, whenever you have a question be free to ask your professor uh, and uh, don't just by heart uh, the material don't just prepare for the exams don't be uh, so competitive to you know uh, those uh, rankings and all but be competitive with yourself uh, so you can learn more uh, and achieve more and continue to learn uh, even after 10 years or 20 years of your uh, graduation uh, so so what do you recommend um to me uh, you know i mean for the most part what you said is right right it applies for everyone what i would say is uh, just you know whatever you are interested in or you are passionate in mm-hmm. you know just keep pushing and try to be the best in what in mm-hmm. that area you know uh, life is limited it's complicated so just try to do the the maximum you can in the area where you are interested in you know whether if you if you if your interest are in academia and uh, want to do a research go for it i mean go do deep research uh find a good college um find a good program in masters and uh, get a phd and uh, go for it if you want to become a, a a ceo of a company for example right i mean try to get a more well rounded experience yeah. um try to be active in the leadership participation and uh, activities and all um you know talk to people mm. get to have a good relationships um you know those kind of things right so just just uh, um maximize whatever you can do mm. um in, yeah, in the space years. you are in the space you are mm. um so i think uh, you know the journey will be rewarding mm. you know when you try to get to the maximum level that you can 
uh, in that journey you learn a lot hmm. yeah. you know that that's going to be a pretty cool thing yeah um and uh, pick up some new passions too yeah you know you don't need to be too serious about uh, subjects yeah. and academia yeah, to be honest with you i mean it's 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 the right thing to be i mean if that is what your passion is um but try to get a well rounded experience when you have a four year on site program mm. in college so yeah. that's that i think um, pretty much it yeah have have fun yeah. uh, in your uh, four year or or your masters programs in uh, in the college and you'll you'll have a really good time and yeah we can we can share our linkedin profiles and if you want to contact us for yep. any mentoring advice we, we would love to uh, help you out so yeah yeah thank you thank you all thank you all bye <laughs>